Um, hi. Do you want the best players on the game? Wait, do you want the best player on the game? Ben off Ronaldo, get D money, get all the D money. So you want the best players, make sure you go check out MuleFactory.com for cheap, reliable, 24 hour support. The safest place to get your coins. And make sure to use the code DMONEY5 at the checkout and you'll get yourself a cheeky discount. So let's get into the video. Hey, what's guys here and welcome to another video on my channel. And today we're going to be talking about the new Team of the Year voting. And of course on Monday, the brand new Team of the Year is going to be out. But today on the 12th of January, on the Friday, all community members who's got the choice to vote will be put up on Twitter their full teams, their full voting of the teams. I've decided to go through all the new votes from all the community members so far and see what is most likely going to be a brand new team of the year on Monday. I'm not going to lie, once we go through this, you guys can probably see a pattern. You guys can probably already tell pretty much straight away what 10, at least 10, 11 of the full team year is already decided already. So let's get straight into the video. If you guys do enjoy, make sure to smash the like button, lads. And if you do have a massive penis, then make sure to subscribe as well. Thank you all so much. So team year this year, of course, EA has done it a, a bit differently. They've been able to give all the community a choice and a voice in doing it. Technically, they've done it through community members, of course, YouTubers, media outlets, all people like that, and they've given them a voice to go and choose team the, to go and choose the team of the year. Now, of course, for some of these like YouTubers, they've allowed the community to choose, so they've you know they use straw polls or Twitter polls to allow actual viewers to you know have a voice in what they choose for the team of the year. So technically, it's community, but they've done it in a I guess a smarter way by choosing actual community members by YouTubers, big big YouTubers and media corporations and that they've allowed them to ask the community one by one what do they think. So let's get straight into the video lads. So number one, who are the 40%? Now of course if you guys aren't too aware, there's a 40% of the team year and it's going to be chosen by community members. So by athletes, media and the community which of course is YouTubers. And then 60% is going to be chosen from EA Sports. So the actual EA team will be choosing the 60% for the team of the year, which I think is a bit unfair, but you know what, it's their game, so I guess we can't complain. I love how, you know, we can't have 50-50, you know, no 50% no here. Now, of course, it is EA, so of course, they are more, uh, you know, they are, they're more important, I think is the best way to put it. So, EA is more important, their vote means more. Because it's EA. So first things first, let's get into the 40%, which is going to be as follows. True Boy, Castro, Spencer FC, Copper 90, Goal.com, 101 Great Goals, Base 87, Brooks Peck, which is a athlete, I think. Chad, also Cinco Johnson, another athlete. David Myler, of course, another athlete, and technically a YouTuber. Uh, DJ Mario, Dream Team, uh, Media, uh, FIFA Losof, FIFA Losofi, FIFA Losof. Ophi? I uh, fucking know, man. Uh, for the win, Footwiz, GJ Throw, Ivis, Godlesep, Just Rod, Le Creep, Massage Gamer, Phineas FIFA, PLKD, Psycho17, Roger Gonzalez, I think that's another media outlet, um, Sabo. Sabaso Kara, Sako Yem, Sports One, Pelemunda, Deporte, Tusik, and Zwayback HD. Now, I think there's a few more in there, like, like Ranju, he's a Norwegian YouTuber, a good friend of mine. Um, I think he's also got a choice as well. So, there's a few more in there which you've missed out, but that's the ideal list. And in today's video, I've got 20 confirmed Team of Year voting, and we can already look out what these 20 have chosen, and we can kind of tell straight away the patterns that we're seeing already. So let's get straight into this video. So in this video, we're pretty much going to be seeing the patterns of everyone's and what should be the confirmed team of the year. From what I've seen already, I think 10 out of the 11 is pretty much confirmed already. So with that said, let's get into team of the year. So let's start from the back. In the goalkeeper spot, you know, at the back with the gloves. I guess that's the point of being a goalkeeper. You know what I mean. So, we've got five nominees here, which are, of course, Buffon, De Gea, Luis, All Black, and Kalo Navas. So, these are the options that these guys have been given. And out of 20 of these votes, from confirmed votes, from media outlets, from YouTubers, from athletes, this is what we've got as people are streaming outside. Yeah, fucking hell. Welcome to Newcastle. So, out of 20 votes, this is how it's gone. So, number one is going to be All Black. All Black only got one vote. Two votes goes to Kaylor Navas. Four votes goes to Buffon. And a whopping 13 votes goes to a certain David De Gea from the community. And I guess you could tell already from the 20 votes, there's a pattern leading here. When someone's being voted that much, I can't imagine there being a massive upset here. The closest to De Gea is Buffon. Luis didn't even get a single vote. Luis did not get a single vote. So De Gea way out in front. And I can imagine him already getting a confirmed team of the year. It's just confirmed. But that's goalkeepers. It's not that interesting because we all, if you play FIFA, most goalkeepers, no matter what rating, no matter what stats you have, 
all kind of perform the same. Hopefully this year it's different, but usually most goalkeepers is dead because they all act the same anyway. So let's go into the defense. This is a very interesting one because it's, it's going to be hard to choose who's going to be in the defense this year. There's so many different options. So, 20 nominees for defense. So, there's a lot to go through here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. There's been 15 different defenders, 15 different nominees out of 20. So, it's quite a diverse range. And when you look at it, it's quite interesting to see which ones are rated higher than the other compared to other defenders. Now, of course, they've missed some out, such as the likes of uh, Marcus Alonso, such as the likes of Goldine, Felipe Luis, and I think there's one more, um, Chago Silva as well, and the Tongans. So out of all of them, they've missed out those. So 20 all together, they've only got 15 that's been chosen. So those are the ones that missed out. So getting one vote is going to be David Alaba, Kudabali Kovahal, Jordi Alba, and also Alexandro. So getting one vote is going to be those five. Kind of interesting to see you know, the likes of Jordi Alba not, not getting that many votes compared to what you think you would get. But... That's just how it goes. So, getting two votes is Kyle Walker and also PK. Getting two votes was these two. Getting three votes was David Luiz and Kimmich. David Luiz and Kimmich also got three votes. So, Kimmich, you know, getting a few votes in there. You're quite a youngster. So, very good future ahead of him. Because he's already been chosen for some people's Team of the Year votes. To get four votes, there's none. To get five votes, it's between Azpilicueta and also Danny Alves. These two have got five votes out of 24 people's team of the years. And I just named 11 players. Therefore, that means there's four more players left. And these four is going to end up with Marcelo, Sergio Ramos, Bernucci, and last but not least, Antonio Valencia. So we've got a left back, centre back, centre back, right back. Seems all perfect. So Marcelo does get 14 votes. Sergio Ramos got 17. Sergio Ramos by far the most dominant in terms of the defenders. Bernucci got 9 and Antonio Valencia got 6. So Dani Alves got 5 and Valencia got 6. And also Asper Cross got 5 as well. So Ramos, Marcelo and Bernucci looks like it should be confirmed. It's just that one more defender spot is between Asper de Cross and Dan Danny Alves and Antonio Valencia. So let me know who which one of those three do you think is going to be because I think all spots is pretty much confirmed. It's just that one last defender spot. So everything else is confirmed right now. From what I've got out of twenty, Antonio Valencia is winning. But you never know. Out of everyone else, I think there's about twenty more to go from the community that we should get and gather. But other than that. It looks quite comfortable. Now, onto the midfielders. Now, midfielders, we love midfielders in this game. And as a, there's a lot of popular choices and what people think that should be in there in terms of real life and in terms of what would be sick to use in the game. Uh, <coughs> nine grand. So, let's get to the midfielders. So, out of the midfielders, there was 15 nominees. And out of those 15, only 11 has been chosen in these team of year votes. So, that means four missed. And those four is going to be Deli Ali. Christian Eriksen, Isco, and also Iron Robin. So out of those 15, those four missed out for a single vote out of 20. So let's get into the midfielders. They got one single vote, which is going to be as follows. Thiago, Forsberg, Verratti, Iniesta, and Kismiro. Five midfielders got a single vote out of 20. Not going to lie, very surprised to see the likes of Forsberg in there. Very surprised to see Verratti and Iniesta in there. I'm, I'm surprised to see them on the same voting as Thiago and Kismiro as well. Getting two votes out of 20, and you may be surprised by this, it's going to be none over but Raja Nangalan. Raja Nangalan. Now, you may be surprised by that. Only two votes out of 20 nominations. Raja Nangalan, of course, if he gets Team of of course, he'll be one of the most insane cards we've ever seen in a game. But it looks like he won't ever get one because not many people actually think he's done enough in real life to actually deserve one. Who got three votes out of 20 is going to be Tony Cruz. Three votes, now, of course. I don't want to see another cruise card, another team of the year card, so I'm kind of glad they only got three votes out of 20. That means we've got four more players left, and that's going to be between Luka Modric, De Bruyne, Kante, and Dybala. These four are the final four, and only three of them can make it through into the final team of the year. Now, these four out of all the other nominations has blasted them away. It's going to be between these four to potentially make it in. And when it comes to the votes, it goes as follows. So, getting 18 out of 20 votes is going to be... Kevin De Bruyne. I think he is guaranteed to get a Team of the Year card and a very much deserved Team of the Year card. It feels good to have a to have a Premier League Team of the Year card. I think this is confirmed. I hope it is. So Kevin De Bruyne, 18 out of 20 votes, he's in straight away. Number two, with 13 votes out of 20, is going to be N'Golo Kante. Now, of course, Chelsea won the league last year, so it's almost a win-win situation. He's done very good in real life. Winning Chelsea in the league and also he's going to be sick in FIFA and also he's in BPL and also he's French. So it's a win-win situation. I think it's deserved. Just like Kevin De Bruyne and also he's sick in the game. So let's go Kevin De Bruyne and N'Golo Kante. 
18 and 13 should be confirmed. Now it's between Modric and Dybala. Getting 11 votes out of 20 is going to be Luka Modric. Dybala only got 7. You never know, Dybala could potentially push Luka Modric for that final team year spot. I think Kante and Kevin De Bruyne is pretty much confirmed. And it's going to be between Modric and Dybala to get the last spot. Now, of course, this is only 20 confirmed votes out of about 40 for the community. And, of course, 60% also has to go for me, yay. But I'm pretty sure that they should have a same kind of... You know, a, a look of things in how we see things as well. So, those are midfielders. Let's get straight into the final three up top, the attackers. So, out of the 50 nominations that could potentially lead the attack for the team of the year, only seven, seven of them has been chosen in 20 votes. So, let's go through who's missed out. The forwards that has missed out goes as follows. Sergio Grello, Cavani, Coutinho, Antron Griezmann, Eden Hazard, Burton's, Alexis Sanchez, and Luis Suarez. So, these are the players that's missed out from the nominations and let's get into the players that has been chosen. So, getting one vote out of 20 is going to be Romelu Lukaku. I don't think he deserves being team of the year, but one lad did choose him. So, any Man Yata fans, just, you get, you get a place in your heart knowing that one person did choose Lukaku. So, the more you know. Getting two votes is going to be two players and it's going to be Robert Lewandowski and Mbappe. Both these players getting two votes out of 20 as well. So both of them probably deserve as well to be at least, you know, at least chosen out of these lots. So no surprises there. So now we've got four more players to go, which is going to be between Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, Harry Kane and going to be Neymar. So let's see who chose who. Getting a whopping 20 out of 20 votes, no surprises there. It's going to be Cristiano Ronaldo getting that. Getting 19 out of 20 votes is, of course, Lionel Messi. There's no point hyping it up or making it dramatic because we already knew that these two would be in the front three anyway. There's no point even hyping it up. But the final spot is going to be between Harry Kane and Neymar. Now, of course, both players are world-class young players in the world right now. Harry Kane is in the most goals out of any any player in the world right now for the current season. So he should deserve to be in his team of the year. But of course, Neymar is just Neymar and... It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be a big one to see who get involved in this one. So between these two players, one player got six votes and another player got ten votes. Do you think you know who got ten votes? Put it down below in the comments. I'll give you five seconds. I mean, I haven't got a watch, but I'll give you five seconds. So, one, two, three, four... Five. Have you, put it, have you put it down in the comments yet? You have? Okay, well done. So, the sixth vote is going to be Neymar Jr. So, getting 10 votes out of 20 for the final attacking spot alongside Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi is Harry Kane. Off of the community has voted. Of course, there's still a few more to go, but this is how things are looking right now. And I think this is how it's going to go, really. I think it's going to be the Harry Net, Marcelo Ramos, Benucci, and and. Antonio Valencia are back. I think Valencia may just get more votes. The midfield is going to be between. It's going to be De Bruyne, Kante, and Modric. But there's a slight chance that Diabolic can sneak his way in also. Do not be surprised if we see that. And then attackers Ronaldo, Messi, and Harry Kane with a slight chance of Neymar sneaking his way in. But. I think Kane's got this, just for the fact he's scored the most goals in the entirety of last year. So, lads, this is the team of the year. This is how it's looking like. And I think the way things are going, this is how it's going to go. So, let me know what you guys think should be the team of the year. Not what you heard has been the team of the year. What do you guys think should be the team of the year? Do you think there's any other players have missed out? Do you think that Dean Moore should make it in? Let me know your thoughts, lads. And, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Vizal. See you next time.